Hey, what's going on you guys? Mark here back at you with another video. And guys, I feel like I should have like a cup of tea or something because I'm about to spill some serious tea, y'all. So yes, it is finally time for me to do my horrible high school teacher rant and I've procrastinated making this video for a while now for numerous reasons, but I feel like it's time. I feel like I just need to get this off my chest with you guys. We've all had a bad high school teacher experience and I just want to share mine with you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into this. My horrible high school teacher. So basically, I had this teacher twice in high school. Once in grade 9 and once in grade 12. And just a little bit of background about this teacher before I dive in about why I didn't like him. Um, this teacher actually used to go to my high school. That's right, he actually used to be a student at my high school prior prior to becoming a teacher. And when he was a student at the school, he kind of fit that kind of skinny, scrawny, nerdy type kind of person. And I hate saying that because I've told you guys before, I hate high school cliques and high school groups. Like I think they're so stupid and there's absolutely nothing wrong with being the nerdy, scrawny kid, but that's just, it's important for the story. That's just who he was in high school. So anyways, once my teacher graduated high school, he went on to university and then went to teacher's college. And during this time, he went through a glow up. Like legit, he started going to the gym and putting on a lot of muscle. So he went from being this scrawny, kind of unattractive nerdy kid to being this like buff, attractive adult. Like he went through a glow up. And like all the power to him because he showed us pictures of who he used to be and compared to who he is now and like he looks good. So like, congrats to you. But as you can imagine, going from being this kind of scrawny, nerdy kid at this school to now becoming this buff, attractive teacher, you're gonna kind of carry a bit of high school with you, and I'm pretty sure a lot of what he did was to kind of redeem who he was in high school, but I will get into that. That just, I had to say that at the beginning. So anyways, the first thing that makes this teacher kind of a jerk is that he picks favorites. Any student of his he's had will tell you the exact same thing. It's no secret. It's, he picks favorites. Like, you will find out the second you walk into his class whether he likes you or not. So what I mean by him picking favorites is that he treats a lot of students really well, he's really jokey with them, he tries to be kind of like almost like their best friend as a teacher, and then the rest of the people he doesn't really like he kind of ignores. And this is something I've noticed about him with his favorites, looking back, is that his favorites were all kind of, they fit the same mold. The types of people he made his favorites were attractive pretty girls that he probably wouldn't have had a chance with when he was a student in school and those kind of cool jock guys and just generally like cool guys like those were the two types of people he befriended the most and I could go into the psychology of this but I'm pretty sure this is him kind of avenging who he was in high school like I said like these are people he probably wouldn't have been able to befriend as a student as that scrawny kind of nerdy student in high school so now that he's this teacher there in a position of power and he's you know muscular He's attractive now, like he's kinda, that's what he's doing, like he's kind of avenging his high school self by befriending the people he wouldn't have been able to, you know what I mean? So those are his favorites, but if you didn't fit those molds, and if he didn't like you, you weren't one of his favorites. And guess who was lucky enough to not be one of his favorites? Me. The thing is, is that a couple of my friends were his favorites, and we'd always talk about him, and they'd be like, oh my god, he's so cool, he's the best teacher. And I was like, well, that's great, but like, that's not been my experience with him. Like, he's kind of been a jerk to me. Like, he's not been nice to me. Like, if you're not one of one of his favorites, you see the mistreatment and the, just like the difference of respect he gives his favorites and not his favorites. Like, it's just, it's very apparent. So another experience I had with this teacher that made him a jerk to me was, in this grade 9 class, I actually won a cake in the school cake raffle. You guys know, like, some schools have cake raffles to raise money for a school, and you win a cake if you win. Like, that was me. I won a cake, and it was really exciting, and, like, my name got called over the intercom, and I had to go to this room in the school to go pick out my cakes. So they called my name and I got up to go leave and my teacher was actually in the middle of explaining something to the class when they called my name. So I got up, but I didn't know where this room was. Like this was my first year in high school. Like I still didn't know all the rooms. So before I left, I turned around and asked the class. I said, do you guys know where that room is? So everyone was telling me where to go. They're like, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's by the office, blah, 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 blah. And I still didn't know where it was. So wait, hold on, where do I go? I have to go up towards the office. And he cuts me off, like the teacher, Cuts me off and says, and I quote, Mark, can you just leave? You're starting to annoy me now. I am not exaggerating. Those are the exact words he said. He said, I was annoying him. Like, I'm just, I don't know where this freaking room is. Like, I'm just asking, like, how am I being annoying? Like, how about you tell me where the room is instead of just cutting me off and telling me I'm annoying? Like, who says that as a teacher to their student? Like, <laughs> 
<laughs> that just blew my mind. But again, I wasn't one of his favorites, so I was like expendable to him. I, like if I was one of the favorites, he would have given me precise directions, told me exactly where to go, congratulated me for winning, but I wasn't any of that, so I was just like, get out, you're annoying me. Like, that was just some crap right there. <laughs> and another thing I didn't really like about this teacher is that he wasn't really good at teaching. Like, legitimately, he wasn't really that good. He very quickly, like, would write something on the board, tell us to copy it down, or he'd play, like, a YouTube video of a lesson he wants us to learn. Like, his lessons lasted maybe five to ten minutes. So he would basically rush through his lessons so that he could go sit on his computer and watch YouTube videos. I mean... I'm not gonna lie, that sounds nice, but like, <laughs> you're a teacher, like this is your job. Like, you're supposed to take this entire 70 minute period to teach us what we need to know. So he would play this YouTube video, write all this stuff on the board for like five minutes, tell us to like, you know, be occupied with that. He'd go on his computer. One class I had to go ask him a question about like what we learned, so I went up to the desk and I caught him in the middle of a freaking Star Wars video on YouTube and I was like, this is what you rushed through the lesson to like, to get back to? like. This is what you're doing? Like, what? And as I approached him, I like opened my mouth, I'm like, Mr. Johnson, and he like gave me the hand so that he could keep watching his video. He watched it for about 10 more seconds, then paused it, and then directed his attention to me for whatever I needed to ask him. And I'm just thinking, dude, pause your video. You're at your job. You're a freaking teacher. This isn't like your break. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you, you're watching this random video. That's one thing. But like, if I'm coming up with a question as one of your students, Pause your freaking video and listen to what I have to say. Like, I could not believe that. And I've told you guys before that in grades 9 and 10, I just wasn't really a good student. Like, it just was a fact. I didn't really care as much about school. I wasn't really a good student. So, consequently, my grades weren't really that good. Good. But that being said, one day my parents went to go have a meeting with him. You know, like parent-teacher night, like that horrifying night that happens every single year. Yeah, my parents went and they had a meeting with him to talk about me. So he meets with my parents and they have a talk about me and basically this chat lasted about five minutes according to my parents and he basically told them that I was dumb and I shouldn't be in his class. Like, pretty much. I mean, he didn't use those words for real, but he basically implied that because his class was academic level, which is like the highest at my high school, and below academic there's applied, which is a little bit more hands-on and easier. So he told my parents, he's like, your son should just go into there because he's not cut out for my class. So my parents were like, well, would you like, before we do that, like, do you think he could do better with like a tutor or like a little bit of extra help? And he was just like, no. He's not cut out for this, like get him out. So my parents came home and they were like, yeah, that teacher is a freaking dick. And I was like, I know. So getting that confirmation from my parents just basically like proved it to me. I was like, okay, I'm not crazy. This teacher really isn't that good. Again, if I was one of his favorites, he probably would have recommended like a tutor, some extra time with him after class, like just different ways to try and get my grade up. But since I wasn't one of his favorites, I just wasn't worth his time. Like even to my parents, he's like, nope. Just get him out of here, he's not worth it. So that was really disappointing because like, as a teacher, obviously it's your job to teach the subject matter, but it's also your job to make sure your students succeed and to want to have the best for your students, like to have recommendations in place to have them succeed. And just that his solution was just, no, he's not meant for this, get him out, was like, that was really disappointing. Cause it's like, you can have favorites or whatnot, but you should still care about every student you have and want to see them do the best they can. Like that was just really, I thought that was really bad. Of him. But enough of that, let's get into when I had him in grade 12, which is when the two incidents happened that just still give me angst about how crappy of a teacher this was. So I wasn't really a good student in grade 9 and 10, I told you guys that, but once I hit grade 11 and 12, I started to care a lot more about school because I was like, oh my god, I gotta get good grades. So I just, I really started studying more, I just paid more attention, worked harder, and I started getting like good grades, which was awesome. So I took this grade 12 class and yep, this teacher was my teacher. And immediately when I saw that, I was like, oh my god, not again. But I was like, you know what, whatever. It's been a few years, now I try in school, maybe he'll see that I try now and he'll be nicer to me, like he'll like me, like he'll see that I've gone through a transformation, like as a student, like this is great. So I walk into his class and immediately I'm like, okay, it's a repeat of grade nine. <laughs> like I could see him talking to the exact same people that were his favorites when I had his class back in grade nine. And like he barely even acknowledged me when I walked in. He was like, oh, hey, what's up, Mark? And that's pretty much it. He went right back to talking to the people that he liked more. And I was like, yep, here we go. So this teacher did not change, still the same crap. He rushed by teaching, watched Star Wars, cared more about telling us his own stories and trying to befriend 
the popular kids and the attractive girls more than actually teaching the subject matter. Like, nothing changed. But there was one day where all of us were kind of wondering where our assignments were because we had been handing in assignments to this teacher and he hadn't handed any of them back for like three weeks and we were just kind of wondering, we're like, where's our assignments? Like. We want to see how we're doing. So no one was asking him, but I decided to take one for the team and ask him after class. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ask him where our assignments are. So I went up to him really politely. Like, I was like, Mr. Johnson, I just have a quick question for you. And he was like, hmm. And I was like, do you know when we're gonna like get back a couple of those assignments that we handed in? And he basically went like this. And I quote, Mark, you do realize that teaching is just my job, but apart from teaching, I go home at night to my family. I spend my whole day here and I go home and see my kids for a couple of hours before they go to bed. And then I have to spend time with my wife, who I also don't see all day. I'm not gonna go home and spend the precious time I have with my family marking stuff and being distracted from them. So you'll get them back when you get them back. Okay. Okay, so um, where did that come from? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but what did I say that was so insulting? Like, the nerve of me, like the freaking nerve of me, the student, to ask my teacher when we might get our assignments back. Like, the freaking nerve, how dare I even think about saying that to my teacher. Like, that is just absurd. Like, I could not believe that. Like, he's trying to make me feel bad and guilty for just asking him when he's gonna give us our stuff back. Like, this, you are my teacher. Like, I have a right to ask you. Like, and it wasn't even a loaded question. It was just like, do you know when we're gonna get those back? Like, I, I wasn't sitting there trying to, like, I could not believe that. Like, I could go on and on, but I just could not believe that that's what he replied with. Again, if a favorite had asked him, who had been like, oh, pretty soon, don't worry. But since I was that jerk, not favorite, he was like, no, you, you don't understand. I have a family, blah, 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 blah. Like, I could not believe that. But I have to get to the one incident I had with him that just, ugh, it still makes me so mad to this day, but it just confirmed to me how much of a jerk this teacher was. I, I have to get into this. So one day this teacher had an extra assignment for bonus marks. It was completely optional, but it was like this thing you could do in like an hour. It was like a cut and paste thing. You cut and paste little pieces and had to like glue them onto a sheet in the right places. And yeah, it was just for extra marks. If you did it correctly, you get like 10 extra marks on your test or something. So I decided to work on it over lunch because it was really easy. And I decided to work on it with one of his favorites. We'll call her Sarah. So me and Sarah went to the library and we worked on this thing over lunch. It took us only like 30 minutes to do, but we cut everything out, glued them on, like confirmed each other's work. Like we literally had complete copies of each other's work. Like we had the exact same thing and we were like oh my god this was so easy like let's go hand it in so we handed it in and then the next day he got them back to us and Sarah got hers back and she got 10 out of 10 on hers good job we did it correctly well I got mine back and guess what I got 9.5 out of 10 um like, okay, where'd that 0.5 get taken off? Like, how come Sarah got 10 out of 10 and I got 9.5 out of 10? Like, this doesn't make sense. So I went up to him after class with Sarah and I said, um, Mr. Johnson, I'm just wondering, like, me and Sarah worked on this together. Like, ours are the exact same and she got 10 out of 10 on hers and I got 9.5 out of 10 on mine. Like, I'm just wondering, did you miss something? Like, did you, did I do something wrong or did you just accidentally give me the wrong mark? And I can still remember to this day that stupid face of his as he looked at me and said, no, you, you got you got this little part wrong. And I looked and I said, no, I didn't. Like, this is accurate. Like, this is correct. Like, she got it right too. Like, this is right. He goes, no, you, you still didn't get the other thing right. And I was like, what other thing? Like, she got 10 out of 10. But then at that moment, I realized, I see what he's doing. I'm not one of his favorites. He doesn't want to give me 10 out of 10. He doesn't want to give me a perfect mark because he just doesn't like me. Great, very cool, Mr. Johnson, very cool. So anyways, I just left the class and I was pissed. Like, I was really mad and kind of sad moment, but I actually ended up walking to the bathroom and letting out a few tears because I just didn't know what more I could do. Like, this was the confirmation to me that this teacher disliked me so much that he wasn't willing to give me the marks I deserved. He wanted to purposely give me marks that weren't perfect because he didn't want me to get them. So I kind of cried to myself in the bathroom. I was like, what more can I do? Like, like, 
I, I hand him work that I'm proud of and he's like this is confirmation that he's not giving me the marks I deserve because he doesn't like me So that just really bothered me and like I'm pretty sure that's also probably illegal like you're supposed to compartmentalize your feelings from students and like you know mark them on the merit of their work like I just that was just really crappy of him to do in high school I didn't know what I wanted to do but like imagine if I knew I wanted to be like a doctor or something and I needed this class I need to do really well to get into medical school and I had this teacher who didn't like me and wanted to make sure that didn't happen so he purposely gave me marks not to make it happen like imagine that like just the thought of him being the difference between me making it into like med school and not making it into med school just because he doesn't like me just really freaks me out again I didn't go to med school I didn't want to go to med school but I'm just saying if I wanted to he could have stopped me just because he didn't like me like that's free I was about to say something really bad there. <laughs> That's not good. So anyways, I could go on and on, but I just find it really sad that like this is someone who is like in their 40s, but they're still living in kind of like high school. Like they still have the mentality of being that unpopular kind of scrawny nerdy kid in high school. And all these years later, they're still kind of in that mind and trying to redeem who they were in high school. Like. I feel kind of bad for this teacher because I think that's what happened to them and it's sad like for you to be at that age and still be unhappy with who you were it's sad but like the fact that he took it out on his students and basically became kind of a bully like it's just it's kind of sad because like he's become the person he didn't like in high school like he's now this person in a position of power this attractive muscular person in a position of power purposely befriending the popular and good-looking girls and ignoring the people who don't fit that like he's He's what he didn't like in high school, and it's just messed up to me that he's fine being that, but that's what he wants to do, whatever. <laughs> and fun story, I actually went back to my high school last year to go visit one of my favorite teachers who was retiring. I just went to go visit her, and she took me on a little bit of a walk through the school, and we walked into the library, and I saw this teacher I didn't like sitting by a desk reading something and I know for a fact he saw me walk in and he didn't even look at me and like we were a few feet over talking and he heard me he knew I was there but he wasn't even giving me the attention like he didn't even look up at me and my, I think my teacher even said oh Mr. Mr. Johnson Mark's here and he just ignored me completely ignored reading whatever he was reading like that was again proof I'm like wow it's been like five years and you still don't like me just because I'm not one of your favorites. Like this is just so childish. And last thing I'll say is I actually ended up leaving a bad review of this teacher on RateMyTeachers.com. If you guys don't know that site, it's a site where you can look up your school and there's profiles for each of the teachers there and you can leave a good review or a bad review if you've had them depending on your experience with them. So when I was in grade 10, I left a bad review for him because I had gone on to grade 10 and done the next level up of this class and gone a much better mark with a much better teacher. So I was like, I left a review being like, this teacher's awful, like I had his class last year and I almost failed it and he picks favorites, like blah 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 blah, like basically everything I said here, and I ended up by saying, I almost failed his class last year, but I did much better in Mrs. Johansson's class this year, where I got a 67%. <laughs> Again, I was a bad student in grade 10, 67 was good for me, I did much better in grade 11 and 12, don't worry, but 67 was good for me in grade 10. So I left this review not even thinking that he could go through the grade books, find out who had 67% in Mrs. Johansson's class and find out who left that review. It was me. I don't know if he actually ended up doing that. I'm sure he did because if you're a teacher, how could you not go on that site? But I can't believe that I did that. Not even thinking that he could look up in the gradebook that it was me. So I'm sure he probably read it and that just added to his hatred of me because he knew that I saw through all the crap he did and ended up leaving a review about it. But you know what? I don't even care. Like if you're going to be like that, if you're going to be that mean to me just on the basic principle of just not liking me, just being a jerk to me, then you deserve that rating and I have no regrets about it. So that's what I have to say about that. So anyways, I could go on and on and on, but this video is probably like 20 minutes by now, so I'm just gonna end it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this teacher rant. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know uh, your bad teacher experience. Did you have a bad teacher? What did they do to you? What did they do that you just didn't like? So let me know in the comments below. I would love to read those and relate with you guys. As always, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All links to that are down below and at the end of this video. Also, be sure to share this video with anyone who you think would enjoy it, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I post new videos every single Friday and you don't want to miss it, so hit that subscribe button right down below. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys next Friday for another brand new video. Bye!